Alright, what's up everybody? We're now in Driftville City, and we're going to head off to the northeast corner to Driftville City Gym. And the first thing we're going to see is Gatesis again. And this time he's talking to Clay, trying to negotiate with him uh, to let go of that sage and all of the plasma grunts that Clay kind of like arrested back in cold storage. And being an idiot, Clay says, yeah, sure, go ahead and take him. So, all of that was for absolutely nothing that we did in, like, cold storage. But, whatever, that's pretty typical in Pokemon games, so. The important thing now is that we can go ahead and battle Clay. So, as always, talk to the, uh, white-haired dude right here and he'll give you a fresh water. And, uh... You'll notice that this first floor of the gym is kind of like, it kind of looks like a resort or something along those lines. But then we'll go down and you'll realize, oh shit, it's like a mine. So there's a bunch of different workers here to battle on the way to the bottom floor, which holds um, Clay to battle. So the first dude here, let's see what Pokemon he has. He has a Palpitoad and a Drillbur. And all of the Pokemon that are used in this area are Palpitoad, eh, Palpitoad, Drillbur, Excadrill, Sandile, uh, Crocorock, and that's it. So, not too many different types, but uh, among all of those Pokemon, there actually is a varying type, because Palpitoad is water, Sandile is part dark, and all of the Pokemon are at least part ground. So, Palpitoad considering it's uh, part of water and ground, is kind of a tricky situation. But in this playthrough, I chose uh, Snivy as my Pokemon, so I can pretty much just have free reign on all of the Pokemon in this area, considering they're all part ground, especially Palpitoad, because considering it's part water and part ground, all grass attacks do four times as much damage as normal because it has like a double weakness so although with Excadrill I think uh, grass type moves aren't super effective yeah because it's part steel so Excadrill kind of poses a problem for Snivy but and also um, if you chose who is it do 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 Oshawott the water starter. If you chose Oshawott, you should be able to rip through this gym as well. Again, other than like Palpitoad because it's part water, so you can't just blast through it. No pun intended, but um So yeah, if you chose um Tepig, you should probably have a pretty big problem on your hands. But you should probably be able to, you know, catch a water Pokemon around here, so it won't be too big of a deal, but, so, I'm not really going to explain all of the elevator moving and whatnot, but you can just watch it, so if anybody's out there having problem with it, you can just watch the video and go through it, but, now we're going to battle this clerk, and he has two sand dials and a palpitoad, so, it's just like all of the other Pokemon, or all of the other, uh, trainers that we've battled thus far, which so far is three. This is the fourth trainer, I believe. So, uh, something I want to talk about is the Poke Walker. Um, to anybody who doesn't know, the Poke Walker was introduced with, uh, Heart Gold and Soul Silver, and it's just like a little Pokeball themed, like, Tamagotchi thing that you can transfer your Pokemon onto, and... For whatever reason, in uh, Pokemon Black and White, they totally didn't support it. And I, I don't really know why, because it's kind of a cool little addition to the Pokemon games. Because it's just, you know, a little super tiny thing that you can carry around with you wherever you go. And, you know, you can get little items, and it, it usually doesn't really amount to that big of stuff. But at the same time, it's kind of cool, you know? Because you can more or less take Pokemon wherever you go. E yeah, even though the DS itself is, you know, 
pretty lightweight and you can take it wherever you go. But yeah, I mean, realistically, like, for example, if, I don't know, you're wearing, like, dress pants or something like that, and you have a job like that, well, you don't really want to have a big DS with you wherever you go. So, like, it, my job, it would kind of be a pain in the ass to have a DS because it would be a little bit too big to carry around with me. Whereas a Poke Walker is perfect. So, I don't know, it, it was just kind of disappointing, and that was one of my big questions when Black and White was first, like, introduced. I was wondering, like, is the Poke Walker going to still be supported? And as it turns out, no, it's not. So, I don't know, that just kind of sucks. Because it, it would have been nice if they would have continued including Poke Walkers, actually. But then again, not really considering by the time it was all said and done, I probably would have, like, you know, six different Poke Walkers or whatever, but... So, anyway, back to the gameplay. Uh, Clay is going to send out his Excadrill, and I think it would be a smart decision for me to send out my Gurger. Cool, I did. Considering, um, fighting is super effective against Steel, so... I should be able to take out his Excadrill pretty easily, considering I have five, uh, levels on him as well. As well as a type advantage. And I think I already took out his Croc Rock with my Snivy, or my Servine, sorry. And then, lastly, it will just be Palpitoad. And I'm sure I'll be able to take out his Palpitoad really easily with uh, Servine as well. So, yeah, pretty much, uh, this gym really isn't that difficult if you chose, you know, one of the two Pokemon that are good for this which excludes uh, Tepig, but if you did so happen to choose Tepig, let me see who would be good against this gym. Um, let's see. Ice, for example. Cold Storage. That's a great place where you can get uh, Vanillite. So, you can go catch a Vanillite, raise it up a couple of levels, and come here and probably, you know, take out quite a few of the Pokemon. Although, Excadrill probably has a resistance to ice, maybe? No, he doesn't have a resistance, but he also doesn't have a weakness, so that's good. And Palpitoad isn't going to take, uh, you know, double damage from ice either. So, but yeah, I mean, the vast majority of the Pokemon uh, Vanillite is pretty good against, you know, considering there's a lot of Sandile, Drillbur, uh, Krokorok, stuff like that. So... When in doubt, go to the previous area that you just came from and catch a Pokemon, and most likely it'll be super effective against the gym that you're currently at. So, you may have noticed that um, Clay didn't give us a TM, and that's because he's going to give us a TM later on after we go through Route 5, and at once we reach the beginning of Charge Zone Cave. So, and he's going to give us... Uh, I forget the TM number, but he's going to give us Bulldoze. And Bulldoze is a really awesome attack because it does pretty good damage. I think its base is uh, 60 attack power. And on top of that, it lowers the speed of the Pokemon that you use it against. So that's something to look out for when um, you're battling Clay. But... Once you beat him, you pretty much get his best move, which is Bulldoze. And it's a really awesome attack. So, anyway, that's the end of this video. I'll see you in the next video where we will cover Route 5 and we'll get the HM for Fly from Bianca.